Bogota, Colombia, voters in Colombia will choose between a former rebel and an unpredictable millionaire Sunday when they vote in a presidential runoff that promises to reshape the country after a first-round election that punished the political class. Polls show leftists Gustavo Petro and outsider Rodolfo Hernández, both former mayors, practically tied since topping four other candidates in the initial May 29 election in which neither received enough votes to win outright, forcing the runoff. About 39 million people are eligible to vote Sunday, but abstentionism has been above 40 percent in every presidential election since 1990. Colombians are voting amid widespread discontent over rising inequality, inflation and violence. The dissatisfaction with the country's conditions is such that in the first round voters turned their backs on the long-governing centrist and right-leaning politicians and chose two outsiders. Petro, a 62-year-old senator, is in his third presidential campaign. A Petro victory would put an end to voters' long-held marginalization of the left due to its perceived association with the nation's armed conflict. Petro was once a rebel with the now-defunct Tem-19 movement and was granted amnesty after being jailed for his involvement with the group. He has proposed ambitious pension, tax, health and agricultural reforms and changes to how Colombia fights drug cartels and other armed groups. He obtained 40% of the votes during last month's election and Hernandez 28% but the difference quickly narrowed as Hernandez began to garner the so-called anti-Patrista votes.